Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Tea Expert UV Resin Kit and the jewelry silicone mold kits. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial and review. So let's get started. Hey guys, so Tea Expert reached out to me. They are Amazon sellers, okay, and they sent me this beautiful resin kit and their beautiful jewelry silicone mold kit, okay? Now, I did try it out first because I didn't want to make a video and not, you know, have proper information and really give you a quick tutorial. So I had reviewed and gave, given a tutorial on their epoxy resin about eight or nine months ago. And I'm gonna link the video right there, okay? And I also reviewed their beautiful mica kit. Whoops, there it goes again, me being a klutz. So they have this gorgeous mica kit, and I had reviewed this as well. And I'm just getting the little uh, owner's manual there, the little manual there, and I'm gonna link that video right there, okay? Now, this lamp there, I bought it myself on Amazon. It's a 36 watt UV lamp, and that's what you need to use with this UV resin, okay? So this is what comes with the kit. That is my first try. We'll get into that a little later. And that is my second try. Much better. Because I really wanted to try it so I could give you a real good tutorial. Okay? So in the UV resin kit, you get... It's right here. And it just has like a little cap. And you get two bottles. You also get a pair of gloves. And of course, your user's manual, which is incredibly important and you should definitely, definitely read it. Okay, can't stress that enough. And I believe this kit comes with the toothpicks because you're gonna need it to pop the bubbles. I believe it came with that kit. Okay, so here is the jewelry uh, silicone molds. You have that mold and you have quite a few designs. You have a second one with different designs, and you have a third one with different designs, all different sizes, great variety. It also comes with, look how beautiful this is, this gorgeous mica and glitter kit, okay? It also comes in that whole kit, really reasonably priced. I'm gonna put the links below to both products. It also comes with a pair of gloves, and it comes with jump rings in two different colors. It comes with hooks for earrings in two different colors. The jump rings also comes in two different sizes, and it comes with that black bag, so you could store everything in, okay? So, this is my first try. You know, you see that huge air bubble there? Yeah, that didn't go so well because, again, it was my first try. And there's another bubble, but I'm going to show you how you don't do that, okay? That one came out better. That was within my first try. And then I, another day, I tried it again because I just want to make sure how to use it properly. And this one, whoops, I am dropping everything. Sorry, guys. That one came out much, much better. No bubbles, okay? A lot of pretty mica in there no bubbles and here's a little close-up all right so i don't drop it and then you have these other earring pieces i made uh, you know i'm gonna move this i'm gonna put it on the black bag so you can actually see how crystal clear it is they are really known they worked on this for quite some time to make really the most beautiful crystal clear uv resin and i mean that is evident here look how crystal clear that is Okay, so that's my second try. Much, much better. I'm very happy with it. So, and there's a little earring piece there. So, I'm going to show you first what not to do. And then we're going to get into as quick of a tutorial as I can give, because I am wordy, um, of what to do. Okay, so quick tips and tricks. And I'm going to show you actually do it and show you what to do. Alrighty. righty. 
so you can get that on Amazon. I love these. I think they're great. I just want to thank Tea Expert for sending me this. And I'm really, really happy with it. It is a lot of fun. So again, the links to these products will be in the description below. What not to do? Don't shake your UV resin. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of air bubbles and you don't want that in your projects. Okay. Here are the air bubbles. You don't want that. No one wants air bubbles in their projects. No one's going to want this jewelry. Okay, no, no, no. You don't want that. All right? So, first of all, you don't want to use a big cup and you do not want to stir your UV resin quickly. Always slowly so you don't create air bubbles. Third, do not use a heat tool of any kind. You don't need it with this UV resin. Okay? So here... You do not want to touch your project after you cure it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want any fingerprints on your project. So after it's cured fully, leave it alone and let it cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes. On to quick tips. Okay, so here are all the three molds. You have so many varieties of sizes and shapes and designs. All right, so first, you want a small cup. You work small, these are small molds, you don't need a big cup. Take your toothpick, pour your resin in slowly, and take your toothpick and slowly mix in, whether it be the micas or the glitters or whatever, mix it slowly. And then it will come out so much more crystal clear and shiny, just like these guys right here. Beautifully clear, wonderful, just perfect. This UV resin is does not yellow, and it is so crystal clear, and it's very, very easy cleanup. Actually, there is no cleanup, and here is actually the best piece I made, okay? Perfectly crystal clear. All right, so work small and mix slowly. Now on to a quick tutorial. Okay guys, so let's get our resin. We're doing three different molds, one from each set. So here is our resin. Let's take the cap off. And first, we're gonna pick our mold where we're gonna start. And we are going to start with that very cute little leaf there. And we are going to put a thin layer to start off with right into the mold, just like that. And then I am going to take that little toothpick and we are going to run it through the mold. Just make sure you don't poke it. And you're basically you're popping any bubbles and you're dragging it through so it covers the whole mold. Okay, I'm just popping and popping any bubbles, just making sure that it's going to be nice and clear. Next, I am going to take some nail art, little embellishments, and just put them right into the mold. I'm going to use my sticky finger. I couldn't find my little tweezers, so I'm just using my finger. And I'm just going to kind of place them where I want it. And we are going to pop it in this oven, <laughs> but we're going to pop it in the UV lamp. I'm just looking at the light real quick, making sure that there's no uh, bubbles. All right. So there's a little UV lamp. It is 36 watts and you can find them on Amazon. All right. We're going to put it for 90 seconds, but it's going to be two minutes in total. So first 90 seconds, and then I'm going to add another 30 seconds. This is how this machine works. Okay. And then we Four, three, two, one. Let's take it out already. Okay. So now it's going to be a little warm. We're going to take some glitter, this beautiful aqua one. And we are going to pour a little bit of the resin very slowly in this small cup. The video was sped up a little bit just to save time, but just pour it very slowly. I know it looks faster on video, okay? And there's a little bubble there. We're just going to pop it, pop. 
and now it's beautifully clear very crystal clear and we're gonna add just a little bit of that gorgeous turquoise glitter and we are gonna slowly just stir it a little bit and just make sure there's no air bubbles and then we are gonna just pour some into the mold And that's it. And we're going to take that little toothpick again, run it through. Again, don't poke your mold. Just do it very, very lightly and drag it through. And we are going to, I'm just looking at it, make sure there's no bubbles. I'm going to look in the light one more time. All right. And we're going to put it back in for another two minutes so add 90 seconds add another two minutes all together and then take it out and that's it all right so while that is cooking i actually started another one and that's what you can do you can work while that is going in your uv lamp for the two minutes you could actually start another small mold and that's how quick this is this whole process is very very quick okay so that one just has the glitter and the resin so now that one is done we're gonna let that sit no touching we're gonna leave it for at least seven to ten minutes okay more like ten minutes no touching otherwise you're gonna get fingerprints and you're gonna ruin it okay so we're gonna put that one to the side it's nice and clear and I over poured just a little bit but that's okay you could fix that later so we're gonna put this one in and we're gonna do the same thing 90 seconds and then add 30 another 30 seconds now while that's going we are going to start the next one. So again, I'm going to pour a thin layer directly in the mold. And what's good about this is that you can work and you don't have to worry about the resin getting hardened already or curing because you have to cure it with the UV, res uh, UV light. And that's what I love about this. So you have a little more working time and you can do multiple ones at the same time because it won't get hard really until you put it in the UV light. So that's great. Okay, we're gonna use that mica color. I really love this color. It's a beautiful, like kind of rich reddish brown, I believe. We could take a little stick and just take a little bit on and put it directly into the UV resin. And that is more than enough. It's pretty pigmented. We're going to take a little more of the UV resin and that other one is finished already. We're going to add another 30 seconds and then just slowly mix your mica powder in with the resin and just slowly. And the best tool I, I found is this toothpick because it does not create a lot of air bubbles, which is awesome. The other sticks... It just created uh, too many uh, air bubbles for me. Okay, so we're gonna take that out and we're gonna let that one sit now. And in that clear UV resin, I'm gonna put one little jewel right in the center there. And now we're gonna pop that one in. And again, in total two minutes. And now we can work on the other one while that one is in the UV light so I'm just putting a clear coat on this this rectangular one re right quick and I'm actually going to use a clean toothpick because the other one has a little bit of red uh, mica on it and I don't want to mix the colors so I'm just dragging that through make sure there's no bubbles and there it is, nice and clear. As I tip it over and over pour a little bit, I'm just gonna clean that up. And actually it's very, very, very easy to clean. It just wipes right away. I'm just gonna add a little bit more because some just fell out a little bit. So I'm just gonna drag it through again, making sure there's no bubbles. That's the biggest thing with this resin is just make sure there's no air bubbles, okay? Okay, so that one is out. 
now it is time to pour the resin with the mica in it and just pour it directly into your mold don't pour too much just let it kind of settle into your mold by itself and then you could drag the rest of the way that way you don't over pour that much that's another little trick I'm just gonna add a little bit more just pour a little bit at a time that's the best way to do it because most resins kind of just settle into the mold itself and then you could drag it through and make sure that your mold is filled properly and not overfilled and not underfilled I'm just popping any potential air bubbles I mean that toothpick saved my life all right so we're gonna pop that one in and put it for two minutes and that is it these two are done I'm leaving that alone for at least 10 to 15 minutes no no touching and the same thing with that one that is in there and I really love this resin it is a lot of fun and I love this mica kit okay guys so here is how they came out it is review time I think they came out beautifully this one I over poured a little bit so I just smoothed the edges out it is beautifully clear this color is gorgeous with that jewel in the center and here is the rectangular one so review time I love this kit I love these molds they are smaller than I'm used to working with but it's just you know a little learning curve and that is all you get a great variety the molds are perfect they pop right out I love the fact that everything comes with this kit and I love the aesthetic of the way that looks I just love that the UV resin is amazing it just cures perfectly crystal clear I have no issues and I love the little booklet it comes with I just love it all so thank you so much to T expert for sending me these so I can review them and use them I really really appreciate you I've been working with these guys for almost a year now so thank you so much guys for watching today I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial not so quick but it is just a little bit of everything today so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!